Hey, 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 good morning everyone. Thursday morning, the 1st of October 2020. This morning's devotion is a reading from the second book of Corinthians, chapter 1, reading verses 3 and 4. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. The theme for this morning is turn to God for comfort. We have often heard, <clears throat> sorry, we have often heard of the saying, living in the lap of comfort or living in the lap of luxury. I prefer living in the lap of comfort. And when we hear this, we immediately think that the person referred to is a person of affluence. While this may be true, have we ever stopped and given any thought to this saying? Troubles come across our path in all sorts, shapes and sizes. And how we allow those troubles to shape us reflects our relationship with God. Young David had been anointed as the future king of Israel and his troubles came from the former king, Saul, who was embittered because God had rejected him because of his disobedience. Moses too had loads of trouble when leading the Israelites through the desert. The people constantly moaned they rebelled and they gave him some serious back chat. In today's economy, we still have trouble that constantly seeks to take up residence in our lives. But here's the question. How do we deal with trouble and who do we turn to for comfort? For many, the last thought is to run into the arms of God and to seek his comfort. Perhaps for others, this might be the first port of call. Many times we don't avail ourselves of the comfort that we could enjoy if we just put aside our high and mighty independence and ask God for help. There's an old hymn that says, Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. The title of that hymn is, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. My dear friends, don't be ashamed to call on God for comfort when your heart is aching and when you find no relief. The Father of compassion and the God of all comfort waits for you with open arms. Run to Him and let Him hold you close to His heart. He cares for you and He loves you. With those few words, my prayer is that may the Lord be with you, may He bless you, may He cause His face to shine upon you that we would constantly run into his arms for comfort, no matter whatever the troubles are. We know that God is there. He is our anchor in life. Goodbye.